and today we will learn how to do this uh, row selection in lightning data table so for that what we need to do we need to create a lightning web component and in lightning web component we need to use this lightning data table so here for the data we have uh, for displaying the data and then columns what all columns we need to display and then the main important thing on row selection so this th there is something that is called on row selection we need to use that and then here the method name whatever the method name to which you want to pass it so now this method will define in our js file so if you see here i already created this method and in the method we need to pass the event so here we need to check event dot detail dot selected row so uh, you will get the whatever the detail for the selected row we have so i am just putting alert to show you guys how, how it is displaying the data so now to uh, expose your web component in the home page or app page or record page so you need to do this thing like firstly you need to is exposed to and then you need to define the target for the app page home page and record page so i have used this uh, lightning web component in my lightning application i have already embedded this lightning web component now i will show you how it will uh, look on click of this row let me refresh it first so once it will refresh so we will click on the uh, radio button that is for the row selection and then we'll see uh, whatever the row data we have for the particular row it will display that row for in the alert so yeah here i am clicking on this first select row and if you see here it is displaying id name first name last name comma phone and the email so these all data i am fetching from backend so that's why we, I, i'm getting all this information in the selected row now whatever you want to do further you can do using this uh, information so that was uh, uh, it for this video thank you so much